Dean, what are your thoughts on that one? Just outclassed really in all departments. Um, what they did really well was make us make mistakes and you know, look for credit direction. They deserved that victory and they deserved the win by the scoreline they did as well. So, you know, we just got to take our medicine and move on to the next game. You said after after we conceded early on against you, you saw, saw your reaction. What, what, why did you think it might not have happened tonight? If you just look, I don't want to make excuses because I know, I know our supporters I like, but the message is always to our supporters and to our players and to their family members. You cannot come to Wrexham in the form they're in and have two in players. And that's what happened for us tonight. And two of them are goalkeepers, basically. We're 14 players, if you want to count it. Um, you know, Maz has come along, he's sat on the bench and not available to play, really. Um, so yeah, you just can't do that. And all the big players we got missing, we basically got a hard back for missing. So got too many players missing. You got to come here full strength. You know, we tried to nullify them as best we can. We gave up crazy opportunities. Uh, we walked on yesterday their long throw. Um, left Mullen free as a daisy. Designated marker. That person knows who they are. Um, and then obviously the forced mistake from Greeny. They just made us make errors all night. And you know the form they're in, sort of the comeback the way they did against Dover. Gives them a major boost to be stopped on Saturday for them. It gives them a major boost. And for us, like I say, you just can't come here depleted. And um, I was hoping some more of our senior players would have stepped up today and been available to play, but they're not. And that's is what it is. We needed to be our best tonight, as you mentioned in your pre match interview. And it was really frustrating that some of the goals were conceded. How, how do you feel like they could have been uh, avoidable, perhaps? It's errors. They, they make you make errors. You know, it's a level of player, it's levels. And uh, they've got better players. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, and like I say, you've got to come here full strength, and we didn't. So, like I say, it's frustrating for us all. People can go through it, tactics, this, that, and the other. At the end of the day, they've got better players than us. Um, and that's to do with loads of different things. I think Wrexham have been probably one of the longest serving clubs in this division. Um, they've been in it a long time. And uh, the resources they have now allowed them to bring in the, the squad and the players they have. And at the end of the day, I think that they, it was the same team that played Saturday for them. And for us, it's not. It's just too many changes, constant changes. Like I said before, our medical department, we've got to do something about this. This is just not right. I've never known anything like this. But um, we'll strive and try to continue to improve. And the big thing for us now is taking our medicine and moving on to Saturday. We need to improve our medical department. Um, we need to get a better mentality around the football club. Uh, we need better resources for that. Um, and we need to get better mentality of player. Um, and players that have a, a better injury record. Just, uh, injury records, basically, as well. That's what we have to do. Um, so many players constantly injured. It. It's, like I said, I've never known that at night yet, but... <coughs> the end of the day people are probably thinking it's excuses but it's the truth it's, 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 that's the situation we're in and we just got to manage it as best we can what needs to happen to, to, uh, to, to become a bit more competitive in, in, in some of the games against some of the top teams in, in this division so I'm better players simple as that all teams are about players <laughs> so I'm better players um, the only player out of their group that I get in their group is Efron that's the truth so at the end of the day we've got to sign better players what, what, what do you make of the actual players who, who did, did come tonight and, um, and did perform? What, what do you make of that application and, and their, their work ethic? Listen, our players gave their all. They gave their all and they were six goals better than us. That's the gulf, that's the difference. I said to me before, there's four divisions within this league, so um, yeah, they've kept their all. We've been in half decent form. Still wasn't fully happy with the performances. We've got so much to improve on. We've got to change the mentality at our football club. It starts at the top and it filters all the way down. Myself and the owner, I've got to make sure that filters all the way through to the whole football club. And um, we all have to take responsibility for the position the club's in. And uh, the only way you get better is hard work, good, all honest hard work, and creating togetherness. You know, that's what they've done here. Uh, and they've got the resources. Resources help. They massively help because you can bring in better players. Um, so yeah, there's loads of things we can improve on. So many things. It's scary, really. There was a positive uh, t- tonight with Jordan Thomas returning to the pitch. How, how pleased are you to uh, have him back within it's the squad? To get him back, but you know he's been out for a long time, and he? he's been out for over six weeks. So um, he's worked hard to get back, and the medical team have done well to get him back because we didn't think we'd have him back this season. So he's back, um, and hopefully uh, he can push himself and get himself into the team, and hopefully we can get some wins as well. What, what's the dressing room like now, and, and how, how, how do we give the, uh, the the players a bit of a lift for uh, for, for Saturday? took an absolute tonking so it's low um, but we've got to show character we've got to show minerals see if we've got any or not I mean what are we going to do cry, soak group the next day and get on with the next day and train on Thursday 
a long journey home and move on to the next game. We've got Solly Hall Saturday. Um, see what kind of reaction we get. Let's see who's available first and then go from there. And just massive credit to the Barnet fans who've, who've travelled uh, tonight. What, what's your message to them? Yeah, look, we appreciate their support. I know they're frustrated. Uh, look, all supporters are. We're frustrated too. But look, we thank them for the support. It's a long way to come on a Tuesday night, and especially uh, you know the way we got beat was was frustrating as well. But I felt the players gave their all, and we were just outclassed. And there's a massive gulf between both groups of players, um, and that's 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 the holy truth of it. I'm just going to thank them for the support, and hopefully they stick with us. What's preparation going to look like for, for Solihull on Saturday? What, what do you feel like we need, we need to be uh, working in particular? Players available. Out of the treatment room. Available. Standing up, being counted. Availability. You know, that's what we need. Um, senior players available. And uh, that's, that's all I can say, really. I, I don't know how many players are going to train on Thursday. Every time I come in, someone else is injured. Someone else needs a scan. Someone else needs this. That's it's just. I'll be honest, it's frustrating me. It makes me angry, the thoughts of it. And... Uh, I think more players could have been available today, I'll be totally honest with you. Thanks for your time tonight. Cheers.